5 at 1 a.m. in New York, Tuesday, December 4th. Good morning. Thank you for starting your day with us. I'm Lauren Simonetti. Yeah. Uh, we go within a yeah, point seriously. of being down 800 points. Just uh, Shake barely. it out, right? Here we go. Now, there's yeah. politics involved, obviously, in all of this, and we have a warning coming up for President Trump. Why one former State Department advisor is going to try to talk her into keeping that Lordstown plant open, maybe for electric cars or some other type yeah. of vehicle. So That was a good interview this morning, by the way. We'll see yeah. uh, what happens with that. Now, um, honoring the pr President George H.W. A little scandal there, our <laughs> Oh, that was woo. funny. That was All a good right, story. That was a good story. All right. Well, we are going to, of course, have more for you on today's markets. I was just intimating there. The other uh, came from Senator John Kennedy of Louisiana, who said that, well, there was some concern, perhaps by Haspel's team, that there would be leaks if that happened, like none other that we've seen in the open era. And with why the war is that's Yemen a problem? It's because Iran made it to what Iran is doing, a nation that also murders people and is a grave threat to the United States and our allies everywhere. Yeah, when you say that, I think of Yemen. We sell them to indiscriminately kill civilians. So I think, Ari, you're making it very either or. We can have a strong relationship with Saudi. It relates to Yemen funding, but also for approval of additional Saudi arms sales. A form of Islamism that is what I want to make plain. Saudi Arabia makes billions and billions of dollars. All right, Sorry, Iran I want to bring up warriors. Who we don't have to involve ourselves in every foreign war, especially Two things. in the Middle East. So what's happening with the people on the ground mm -hmm. in Yemen? We have a relationship with Saudi Arabia versus Yemen so that when those war crimes are committed, that we have some way to... Yeah. To deal with each party who, who go different ways on this, and there are chasms yeah. in, in both parties. Oh, just let the whole caravan in through to California because you shouldn't have wall. But we need a wall wherever Border Patrol says a wall makes sense. The Democrats should give him a wall. He should give DACA, as well as many others who have been in this country for a long period of time. So, Kennedy, there are some Democrats who say they will support part of impeachment. <laughs> oh, man. So, I think the Democrats are going through the obvious splits. They know their job is to legislate. At, at really crafting the party and the agenda going forward? I mean, I hope so, because I do think that if we have members of Congress that are actually pushing to get something done, that we go after her, you know, personally, the way he does other members of Congress. They've known each other for a long time. I believe he donated to her. So um, I, I think that she's really the linchpin and in, needs in to get done. And All do right. you lose votes as Democrats? Because you've known we don't know. And that's why I resist beginning any sentence with the word if. Because I think it's terribly unfair to do to somebody who might be entirely innocent. Right. And that's why you have a prosecutor. The, uh, the market's just being a little yippy because everyone's overly sensitive? Uh, the markets are doing what they Because there's so much uncertainty. Unlike every other administration, yeah. they have no idea what he's willing to do. He's getting a quiet kickback from Manhattan bartenders tonight because the market is closed tomorrow. They just lost 800. <laughs> for that's a for big the, uh, the funeral of George H.W. Uh, that, that's a good be. point, though. That's a part of the reason why you saw a sell-off today. And a lot of it does have to do with bond yields. And that's a bigger talk about global financial stocks. But overall, he's doing his negotiation tactics where he goes in, he's like, China, I'm not stepping down. I was trying to think exactly. Yeah. The Lighthouser's yeah. going to be the I think the devils guy. have the punch. Sanders would, boy, they'd love to trade punches. With That's Donald like the two Trump. old guys from the Muppets. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. What is Donald Trump then? I don't well, know. No, well, we're talking about means, energy levels. Yeah. And then you get Mike Bloomberg and people like that. Mike Bloomberg, my opponent's youth and inexperience against him. And so right. I think some of these folks that you say are older that may have great yeah. appeal. Look, I'm, for, I'm, I, I'm not being ageist here. I do want to mention one thing, and Lisa, I'll get your comment on sure. this, and then I know Greg wants to weigh in. Michael Avenatti, the creepy you-know-what lawyer, um, <laughs> announcing today that he is not so going cool. to run in 2020. The Democrats probably getting a pass on that one. Yeah, I think they're all probably saying thank God, right? <laughs> um, but look, regarding Joe Biden, I think he would actually give President Trump a run for his money in a general.